three flicker flame style lamps like you'd normally find in a candle arch at Christmas. Each lamp contains uh, a small resistor in the base that limits the current through the neon discharge capsule. The capsule has two electrodes in it in the shape of a flame that are just slightly in parallel but not touching and the result is that they um, illuminate across their surface. So one of the things about these is that um, they tend to run them at maximum power to get as much brightness out of them as possible, which to me that shortens the lamp's life. And in the base of each of these lamps is a small resistor and it gets very hot. Now these lamps are running on 240 volts and if you consider that uh, I measured the current, this one here is drawing 6.2 milliamps and typically the resistor will be dropping probably on 240 volts at least a quarter of that. Um, actually, not a, the, the lamp itself will be a quarter, so the resistor will be dropping three quarters of that total power, which is the power I measured for that light was about 1.5 watts, so it's a lot of uh, heat gets dissipated in the base. And in the past, I've tended to find that the resistors in the base tend to fail. Again, this is 240 volts. It won't be so critical for uh, the American ones. However, I've been experimenting and I've put a resistor in series on the lamps and a capacitor with a parallel resistor in series. The parallel resistor is a 1 mega ohm resistor. It's just a discharge resistor to stop you getting a nip when you turn it off because otherwise the capacitor would store a charge. And the idea of, of putting the resistor in series with them is to limit the current externally and it will reduce the power dissipation in the resistor inside. And in the case of uh, the middle one, I put a 10k 1 watt resistor in, and about 46 volts was dropped across it, which um, gave a power on this lamp here, power rating of 0.9 watts. So that's dropped almost half a watt. Actually, it's dropped more than half a watt, come to think of it. Um, and the current went down from 6.2 milliamps for this one, to 4.6 milliamps for that one. And visually there's very little difference, uh, just as much movement and just as much discharge over the surface. It will be slightly bright, uh, dimmer, however, uh, but the main thing is that the, the base will be staying cooler. Now one disadvantage of this is that if this lamp went short circuit, uh, or the lamp holder went short circuit, because sometimes when you screw the lamp in it folds the metal strip down, that resistor would then dissipate the full mains power across it, which would dissipate about 5 watts, and it would go up in smoke and could set fire to the candle. That's not a very good idea, um, because these these uh, things are designed to have these little candle bases. Um, now, this, the third one here, I put a 100 nanofarad, 400 volt uh, mylar capacitor. I think it's mylar. Yeah, it is mylar. Um, capacitor in series with it, with that discharge resistor. And it has reduced the power dissipation to 0.4 watts. So that's about uh, that's round about a third of the original power dissipation, and you can see it's dimmer, but there's still as much movement round it. Um, now I measured the um, the current through at 4.16 milliamp, but a lot of the power is being limited by the capacitor, which. Um, means that there's no heat dissipation. I mean, this resistor here will get slightly warm, but the resistor in the base will not be getting particularly hot at all. And a touch test showed that this one was very hot to touch, this one was modestly hot to touch, and this one was at body temperature. It was very cool. Um, so that's a good result. It means that the lifespan will be a lot longer. And if this one shorts out, uh, all that will happen with that capacitor is it'll act like an interference suppressor. It'll just limit the current through the circuit, it won't uh, blow up or or get hot or do anything unusual, it'll just, um, just remain as if nothing had happened, which is perhaps another bonus. Um, however, the main advantage is that the lamps will last a lot longer, there's just as much movement um, and the bases don't get hot so hot. Now if you're doing this in America, if you want to try experiments like this, you could get off with probably on 110 volt supply, you could get off the 200 volt capacitor, you'd probably have to change its value to something probably close to 220 nano, I'm thinking. Not 100% sure, you'd probably have to experiment with that. If you go, if you limit the current too much, you end up with a tiny, the, the discharge stops covering the whole flame and it just goes into a little sort of area at the bottom and uh, the lower the current goes, it'll still light right down to fractions of a milliamp, but it'll just be a little dot 
and it may just jitter about a wee bit, but it's not quite the flame effect you're looking for. So that concludes tonight's experimentation with Neon Flicker Flame Lamps.